And uh, cause you know it's not done like this in the music industry. We know what y'all do, but y'all not doing it that way. And P looked at him and he stood up and he said, "Last time I checked, this was my company. Wow. Last time I checked, y'all doing distribution. And the problem with y'all, y'all think white is right. Mm. That's the problem." Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Talking earlier about the 28 albums that y'all did in that one. Are you going back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, you jumped back to Snoop. You didn't finish with that. (laughs) So tell me about the reason, why was that so significant? Other than just just the numbers. Well, it's significant because they were, we had a big meeting, right? All right. All the fucking BMI heads from overseas coming over. And they're having this meeting with us about our company, how we doing things, shit mm-hmm. like that. And so me and Pierre already came up with it. We like, well, shit, if there was this much for this, if we put this much out within this amount of time, they're going to want this much because all this shit going to do well because we got good music. So we setting up how we going to release the albums. We're doing the covers, putting them in there because we're doing everything, man. We did all the artwork. We situated the songs. We picked that which song go first to last. Me and him in the studio doing this shit every day. Mm. Every piece of word that's on the album cover, everything. We checking it, making sure it's right, putting the right people in, all that. So we didn't already got our plan together the way we going to distribute the music and put it out. Nobody else doing it. So the people had this big old meeting, and there's nothing but white folks, man, like fucking 30 of them motherfuckers in there, big old conference table and shit, me and people at the other end of the table. And it was like, you know, we've been looking at y'all program and what y'all doing, we think you need to only release one album per year, and then you'll have this and this, that, and other. And uh, cause you know it's not done like this in the music industry, we know what y'all do, but y'all not doing it that way. And P looked at him and he stood up and he said, last time I checked, this was my company. Wow. Last time I checked, y'all doing distribution. And the problem with y'all, y'all think white is right. Mm. That's the problem. Man. That's it right fucking there. He said, but that ain't about to happen. We're going to do this just the way I got it set up, and that's what's going to happen. And if you don't like it, I will go across the street. Because at the time, everybody courting us, right? So everybody want us, you know, across the street, they want us, you know, everybody, everybody we right there in LA. Right. So the motherfuckers sending me offers, sent through anybody, they trying to get us to come over, you know. So at the time, that's going on. So after he got up and said that to him, you gonna do exactly what I said or else. Come on, buyers, let's go. And we got out the door, I just hugged him because it was like a powerful thing. Right. You know? Because, you know, like, just stand up to all the powers that be and all the conventional thinking that they have and then reinvent it all mm, wow. and, and turn it on its mm-hmm. ear. You know what I'm saying? So after that... Never had no more problem. No. Never had no more problem. That's dope. No. But with doing all of this, okay, were you um, married or had kids and, you know, <laughs> during all this time? Mm-hmm. Because when I think of it from a woman's perspective, you're talking about you in the studio all the time, you're busy all the time. When you find time... For her. Mm-hmm. And was she tripping? Was she be like, man, you gone all the time. Why you never home? Because da, da, da. that's what most women are going to do. Well, you know, I'm not really moved by any of those things. You know, once I have a focus and I know what I want to do. Put your not, mind to it. Yeah, there's none of that going to affect what I do. Now, I'm not saying things didn't occur like that, but it, trying to take And she spirit. stayed by your side during that the whole thing? That wasn't. Uh... We could say that kind of. I think I had a better. It was better for me personally when I was gone more than when I was there. <laughs> 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 Just because of like kind of like yeah. while I was living, yeah. you know, I always was a guy like that. You know, I've always loved women. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been around and I've traveled a lot. I've always been open minded and shit like that. And so, she knew that. Yeah, she knows different things about me like that. So you know, that's hard. Yeah, but that, that was like you know I ain't. I wasn't tripping on that in any way. Because mm, no, most men be. be talking, most of the time I hear the artist or the, the businessman always be like, man, I love this music more than I love anything else out there anyway. Well, so. Well, it ain't about loving the music, it's knowing what you're doing for your life and for your people. And I'm going to be able to help you in other ways that I can't now. You may not understand what's going on, but as you see things progress and all that, where else you going to get enough money to pay this house off and you can That's have right. it? That's right. And you pay this car off and you can have it and you can put this in your account and it's yours. And 
you know, like I'm doing things to change the life of you, my son, the generations to come, my other kids, because I had kids outside of that too. So I was like, I'm doing this for all of them. And if you don't understand that, don't understand it. It doesn't matter to me. It's not going to stop me. Uh, if you want to leave, leave. What you ever want. You want all this, take it. You know what I mean? So that's, yeah. what, and that's what eventually happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.